Hello guys, it's me here at those 12, and sorry about this, it's my third recording. <laughs> yeah, there have been some problems. First time it happened, things kept crashing and stuff, and I didn't get the audio. There was no audio in the first video. Second video, there was kind of like a disturbance. I'm sorry, it's the pencil dropping. I have a bad habit of twirling pencils and then dropping them, <laughs> or flicking them somewhere. But we all have bad habits, you know. Like, sometimes you have bad programming habits. Like, um, you know, sometimes I have to use free models in order to be able to avoid those habits. I mean, I'm trying to make something, but I don't know how to do it. But then again, if I was able to modify a free model, then I'm able to actually make something good. Because then I'm going to have a script, but also make it my own. Same thing I'm going to do with chat voice, because that's what Forescreen, which is a game pass, uses power in which you can use chat voice to actually chat. Anyways, here we are in the game and I'm about to show you the first preview of Star Wars Save for Already and Assault for PC. As as in standalone, not Roblox, the Roblox the standalone edition. The Roblox edition is almost like this but it's a little different. It's not this how like this organized it is not this extensible this is quite almost like Unity for lots of things. Anyways, let me get started. Load game. Enter your player name here, player one, and then you play. Now let me show you something else. When you have this, right? This is the name of the server or whatever. And then this is the status. If you're offline, then that means you're offline. The host is none, that means there's no host. Create a game, you would input the name and then you would press create. Like for example, I can do game one and then create it. I can also find a game by listening to the servers. And here we are. I'm hosting it. Join one. Okay, let's see what happens. Here we are on the map. So this is me. Watch them walking. See me walking? Yeah, this is how you do it. If you're walking along, and when you're walking along, if you look at this, right? Basically, we're walking on grassy terrain. Now, watch when I do this. I'm hosting, basically. So, I created a game, and I called it Game 1. Now, in other previews coming up this summer, you might be able to see a built version of this game and the editor connect together into one game. Yeah, there's going to be many servers for this for sure as well. So we will be creating servers. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I also have to, um, before I actually shut this thing down, have to um, look at the multiplayer part of the Unity services and see if this actually works. And I will tell you in the description if it did. If it did not, then hey, it's a problem that we can fix later. Not right now. As long as this works. So as you see I'm walking to there and maybe our goal should be just to get up there. Now out on this area there's going to be some water here and then there's going to be some buildings. You know what I mean by buildings right? I mean as in actual Star Wars based all around buildings that you will see. For example you could see an opera hall or opera center or whatever. Um, you could see the palace of Breha or Ghana and Bail Ghana. You can see shops, anything. There are a lot of buildings in Aldera in the Roblox edition of this game. As you may know, starting on the day after I graduate, I am going to be showing you guys how to work with a tutorial pack, which would be a gamepad based thing. It's a gamepad based, um, I forgot the word for it. Oh yeah, it's it's gamepad stuff, right? But it's in a different way, per se. Like the gamepads, you would be dealing with um. Dang, I forgot. It's basically we have two paths: gamepad path and the keyboard path. Basically, it's a platform-based path. And the tutorial path, but I'm also going to be showing you another thing on that day too. 
inventory and how to convert it to a gamepad based inventory. Which is needed in order to make a tutorial path for Saber Front. This is an RPG. Thanks to the RRD, which is a group on Roblox that develops RPGs and works on stuff like that and building them. Guess what? You're going to be seeing this game. This game was made from one of the person's kits. And then we took the kit and we made it so much better. This is basically why we got. But we took the kit and we actually made the script so much different. Than what it used to be like now you can't even tell that it's not in rockets because the way that it's set up there's no properties in it like we changed the properties to a module script so they would work so yeah expect to see previews of that game possibly in july when we show you um rounds four and five and six rounds are basically when i actually edit five more like I edit the same amount of um, levels plus five more levels that I haven't edited yet that are forward for the game to actually optimize it. And this technique actually works. I mean, when it comes to game development, that's my thing. But also game design, kind of like they're fused together to uh, make me a powerful, you know, Roblox developer and Unity developer too. Look at how I'm designing this. Look at all those trees. So now, let me show you what else I've done. So basically, you walk up this. It's basically like a path, like a cobblestone path or a path made out of dirt. It shows you where to go in the game. So we'll go here and watch what would happen. that <laughs> looks great doesn't it sorry if I got any errors here but the LOD I'll probably fix that later look at that look at that I'm going up there there's a lobby manager already there and the FPS controller already there I can also jump see the game for information is already there when we see enemies, right? When we see enemies, we're probably going to set something active. I wish we could set it active to true on it. So that it can actually use it. Still use it in the game. But, you would only delete it or destroy it when we, um, lose, like, you lose you get kicked out of the server basically basically every single game of this is going to be played in the server now look at this from here we can see the future oh wait i don't think i'm high enough um from here we can see the future location for alderaan for aldera could be over there while Another area such as, um, sorry about that guys, my window is kind of crazy. Like, Berlue or there could be somewhere in that area. So now look at this. And also look, you've got the moon up there. Or sun up there. Isn't that weird? <laughs> well, just to think of that, but we might be getting rid of that sun and replacing it with something else. Like we can make the sky box different with the different kind of directional light. So, just something to think about. A day and night script could be actually useful for this game, making it role playing in real time. Anyways, guys, um, that's it for now. If you want to go back, I would suggest you do this. Sorry. Can't press the back button. Well, that's all for now. So, um, this has been Eridos12, and like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you like to do, and, um, cheers! Goodbye!